I just didn't want yeah. to, I guess, disappoint the mother who walked through the struggle with me through those records. And then I turn around and go, okay, thank you. Thanks, y'all. I'm finna go grab this mother money bag and I'm finna rap about, you know, partying in San Tropez with, you know, butt naked bitches and we partying and drinking and throwing money all out there. I didn't want my core fans to be like, what the f like, dude, you know, so some some people take that route because the money is more, you know, I want to be that image. So now I'm going to go from wearing khakis and driving in a 6'4 to I'm pulling up in a Bugatti nigga with fur on my boots and shit in my pants pockets. And, shit. and yeah. you know, I got on a see-through tank top and shit. Like that, and and and, <laughs> and a big fur hat right. because that's what they call fashion now. So you know, yeah. some people t f tend to uh, you know go astray. Right. You know. So, so evidently, it's a certain formula. You feel like they didn't. They were too busy. They were too concerned with crossing over and doing other things. Is this nothing wrong with wanting to scale? L listen, I think that. I think. They don't own nobody nothing. You can do what you want to do. It's their, it's their life. But what I'm saying is, a lot of times people say, I don't owe or, or, or help. Well, what is it for? Mm -hmm. like, I don't owe, I don't help. You know, if 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 eight got a podcast or no one got a podcast and, and I rock with y'all, like, what's wrong with me? What's helping is okay. Like, I think, we, I think we're messed up what we thinking it's, I don't owe nobody or... It's not that you owe nobody nothing like that, but it's you kind of... Mm. Well, you know what? I, I will say this, <laughs> and I agree with you. I feel like this, man. If I have the means of helping somebody that I call my homeboy, homegirl, family member, relative, if I have a means of helping them out, and they understand that they will have to dedicate a certain amount of time and work to it, I'm all in. Just don't expect me to do everything but I'm definitely gonna help you. I feel like I'm obligated. Right. In the way. So, so look at it like this. Say, say, say we somewhere and 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 we see somebody finna jump the Hughes brothers, right? Mm. Is, is it our obligation to help them up? No. But if we we, I feel like man, nah, that's the right thing to do. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. nigga, if I see A somewhere and it ain't looking good, I, I feel like it's the right thing to do. No, hold on, homie, nigga, we both finna get beat up or whatever that is. Mm. I feel like it's the right thing to do. It don't have to be. You don't all. You. you there's nothing wrong with being that kind of person to help, and I think people get caught up in like, you know, what, in their own, in their own, in their own business. Where Alan Albert, you know, it wouldn't have hurt to help. It mm -hmm. wouldn't have. You know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all I'm saying. And then you, when you go do the white films, there's so many white directors that you, if I don't, you don't even know who they are. That's why when you do a Menace or a Boys in the Hood, you get noticed. Like John Singleton, we know you did that. It's noticeable of your how good your work is because it's for the culture. But when you do with all the, if, if Alan go do, do Jurassic Park right now, nobody's gonna care because we've seen seven of them already. Mm. <laughs> yeah, for real. We already seen them. Mm. F. Gary Gray did Fast and Furious. John mm. Singleton did Fast and Furious. We know John Singleton for Boys in the Hood. Mm -hmm. Because it stood out because he told a story about what everybody in our culture can relate to. Uh, 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 uh,